Hey guys, Mrs. Vance here. So we are gonna start printmaking today and the first thing we need to do is kind of set up our designs and what we wanna do. So I have my handy dandy pencil here ready to go and I've got my sketchbook, I've got my piece of foam and I've got a pencil and an eraser, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is take your sketchbook and you are gonna trace your foam like three times in your sketchbook so that you have the right size to work with as we go, okay? So I've traced it once, flip it over, trace it two more times. Make sure you're being resourceful and recycling and using the back side of your paper as well. So I'm actually gonna fold this one over and use the back side of this page as well. Now, whether your design is gonna end up being um, portrait or landscape, vertical or horizontal, that's up to you, but when you trace it, it doesn't matter. So once you're done tracing, I want you to put that foam safely wherever you are keeping your art supplies because you do not need it again for actually a couple days. All right, so I've got three different rectangles traced out and ready to go. Well, what are you gonna do for your design? Here's the thing. Styrofoam is tricky when we go to carve into it, so we can't have anything super detailed and we also don't wanna leave it super simple. So the concept behind this project is going to be to think about overlaps and underlaps and shapes that go on top of each other. So it is gonna be super important that we are taking our time and really thinking about placement and designing first before we take that design to our styrofoam. Okay, I did uh, reach over and grab my ruler. So if you wanted nice straight lines, you could easily do that. Um, but I'm thinking, just think of things that you have in your house that you can trace, you can use as a resource that might be interesting to kind of formulate your design. And I want you to think more abstractly, more geometrically using lines and shapes and less with actual um, physical things like people or animals and stuff like that. So I'm actually just going to kind of doodle some wavy lines to get me started. I'm gonna do one more, I think. Notice that I'm going all the way to the edges of my paper, okay? I'm connecting things, I'm not having anything really float in the middle too much. All right, and then what do I wanna do from here? Um, I really like triangles, so maybe I could do something with triangles. And this is where our overlaps are gonna come into play. We need to decide what do we want to sit on top, what do we want to be underneath, and then we need to erase whatever that may be. So maybe I'm doing another triangle over this way. And then I'm erasing so that my triangles are sitting on top of this kind of rainbow roadway here. But then maybe, you know, is there another element mixed in? Maybe I want straight lines too, and I'm going to have them go underneath. So I'm going to stop my ruler and my tracing. So it goes this way. So the biggest thing is we want to fill our composition. We want to make sure that it's interesting, that our eye moves all over the place, that we've maybe got smaller details and bigger details as we go. Um, so I do feel like I obviously need something else down here. Um, you know, do I want to go crazy and do I want to add a new shape? Maybe I want to add a circle. And in this case, I would want to maybe find something to trace. So I'm just grabbing a cup here. And I'm going to have this go underneath. Okay. And then um, to, to kind of connect that circle back, I'm going to bring in a triangle as well. And it has a little bit of an overlap there, so I need to erase that. All right, and then, you know, I feel like I need something over here. I don't need anything super big and detailed, so maybe I'm just going to take this triangle and make a few more sort of connected in this space. And then I've got to decide which one's going to go under, which one's going to go over. Like so. Okay, 
I feel like this is a balanced design. I've broken the edge of my paper, meaning I'm taking things to the edges. I have overlaps. I have underlaps. Not a bad start, right? Okay, so I've got two more design spaces to work with. So you definitely want to make them different. Give yourself different concepts on each one, and that way you can choose one theme or idea to go with and run with it from there. Um, if you wanted to do something more like um, design based and like symmetrical, you could easily start something more centered. You could even take the time to, you know, measure and find out where your center is. So, you know, four and a half, it's four and a half inches, right? Let's see. It's about nine. So there's my center this way. There's my center. I was pretty much right on the money. Look at that. So that's kind of my center. So if I wanted to, you know, build off of my center, so I grabbed a glue stick for tracing. Okay, so maybe I start with that circle and then I build from there and I want to make something super symmetrical. So maybe I add like triangles here and here. And then maybe I add like semicircle on this side and this side. And I grow my design symmetrically using the concepts of like radial symmetry and I grow out from the middle. And then I could, I can bring curves into it if I want. And if I do that, I gotta make sure it goes the other way. And then it's gotta go the same way down here. I'm trying to go pretty quick. I hope you take your time a little bit more than I am to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. So I'm going to do like a half circle here, but then I do want to bring these triangles back. So maybe there's a big triangle on this side and this side. So again, I'm just kind of growing from the center using my concepts of symmetry to help grow my design as I work my way out from the center. So that's another kind of idea to kind of get you started. And I'm just sort of making this up as I go, as long as I stay symmetrical, I'm, I'm pleased. Um, let's see, do I wanna bring another curve into it to kind of follow that curve? Or maybe go this way. The trickiest part is kind of keeping my concept and my brain symmetrical as I go and figuring out where did I draw those lines from so that they are similar on each side. So this is turning out kind of cool. I would maybe want to add something a little bit more from there, but I think you get the idea. So it's completely different from this concept over here where it was a little bit more floaty. Um, and then this one is a little bit more building from the center out. Um, but still has some concepts of overlapping and underlapping at the same time. So then maybe for that third one, you kind of do your own thing and really figure out what you like, what you don't like, um, and kind of make it happen from there. Again, with those concepts of underlapping and overlapping, and you could even mix them. So like, if I want to draw my wavy lines again, And let's say I wanted to make them weave through. So what if there was another set of wavy lines? Well, I could have them go, I could have one go under and then the next one I can have go over here and then under this one. Let's see, one, two, three. Have to be like this. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. And then what I would do is I would erase just here and just here. So now you can see it kind of looks like it's weaving. So then this next one I could do under, but then it would go over the concepts of here and here. Well, actually it would need to be I need to connect my lines a little bit better. So it would be here and here, and then it would be under the next one. 
as it goes out. And so you can kind of see that basket weave starting, starting to happen down here. So if you wanna play with some sort of concept like that that's a little bit more complicated, please feel free. Your sketchbook is filled with paper for you to play with. If you wanna make more than three designs, make more than three designs. But your goal today is to make at least three and to have different concepts so that you can then take whichever one is your favorite and either use that one exactly or take it and refine it for your final drawing that we're gonna take to your, your styrofoam. All right, guys, have fun with this. Enjoy, I can't wait to see your designs.